fire and death in Melbourne's little Lonsdale streets as the Salvation Army's William Booth Memorial Hostel for Men becomes the centre of a tragedy. Confined mainly to the upper storeys, the fire, although rated officially as a reasonably small one, gives off dense clouds of smoke, and of the 29 dead, most were suffocated, the others succumbing to the flames. Firefighters and men of the Civil Disaster Squad are compelled to don respirators during rescue operations. According to officials, many of the victims died because they were too old or incapacitated to help themselves. Many apparently ran into rooms to escape, completely ignoring stairways that could have led them to safety. 24 fire units worked throughout the night carrying out the dead and tending the injured before they're transferred to hospital. Cause of the fire is suspected to have been a smouldering cigarette dropped by an inmate as he fell asleep. The affected area of the building contains some 200 small cubicles rented at 75 cents a night. Most of the men who stayed at the hostel were wanderers and pensioners, with perhaps no near relatives and certainly no home other than such community centres. During the night, firemen continue the search for victims. A grim search which eventually confirms 29 dead, 12 injured and another 61 who escape. Many of the latter with the loss of all their meagre possessions. Next morning, the hostel which was erected in 1916 shows mute evidence of a disaster that brought a terrible death toll in its wake. Inspector Frank Holland, chief of the CIB, is on the spot with other top officials as an investigation gets underway. Chief Officer of the Metropolitan Fire Brigade, Mr. Patterson, speaks with reporters, as does Colonel Darlow, the Salvation Army's Social Secretary. Survivors are interviewed to collate evidence and establish ownership of salvaged possessions. A lesser tragedy is that these men are again homeless and face the problem of where to go and what to do. In our affluent society, perhaps even more thought should be given to the plight of those less fortunate than ourselves.